Hi guys, welcome back to the shed and today it's a bit of a dust bowl. I've been sanding away on spray polyester on my old mate Dave's LTD. Now I'm painting this car for him and I've got all the bodywork done and I've put a couple of coats of spray polyester on it which is a really fine creamy sprayable body filler. So it's much the same properties as what your normal filler is, just smooth and creamy and just gets them really nice. Now I prefer to use this product over heaps of high build primer to fill in the little imperfections. So what I do is put a few coats of this on, let it set up, and the big problem you get with spray polys is you do get a bit of shrinkage with them. So this has been on the car now for nearly six weeks. So anything it was going to do, it would have done by now. So now I'm blocking it out smooth, I will have a good firm solid base which will be stable that I'll put my high build on. And with making this surface really good, I don't need a lot of high build primer to go on this. So probably put three light coats on, block that and the car's ready to paint. So where do we start? If we come around here and have a look, this side over here has got some stuff that I haven't sanded yet. And we put it on with a really big nozzle spray gun. It's a 2.4 millimeter tip, I think from memory. And it comes out lumpy and bumpy. And the product itself does have a few little bits and pieces in it, which will leave the odd big bump that don't mix in that well. So you've got to sand them off. So this is almost non-skid, it's that rough. So from there, I sand it with 80 grit paper, which is what I've got on these panels here. This has all been sanded with 80 grit. And I had my Dyna braid out earlier on and I ran over that and did most of the big flat areas. So I had this going and it was through the dust extractor. So from here, bring down all these big areas. But what I do is I do it in a couple of stages. I work on a part of the car with a new sanding disc on it that hasn't been sanded. And once the sandpaper starts wearing out a bit and gets a bit smoother, I go back to the areas I've already sanded and I finish the 80 with a worn out disc. And that gives a finer cut than just sanding it all with the 80 grit. And from there, I block sand all the little areas, like the lines to get them straight. These little scallops out of here, I actually use a piece of hose. Bit of a low tech solution. So this is just a heavy piece of straight radiator hose and I've had this for years. So you wrap your bit of paper on there, you can squeeze the hose to match the profile of what you're sanding and you can get into all these little scallopy areas and get them all smoothed out with that block like that. And then these little creases in here are an absolute little nightmare but you do have to persevere and sand them all out because if you're going to have a delamination issue at any point in your paint build it's going to be these little tight corners where the paint doesn't quite grip on and as it shrinks a bit with age it'll pull away and you'll get a little bit of bridging and things like that so these are really critical areas to get just right so don't overlook these sorts of things because these are great sanding blocks. And I even use bits of heater hose for getting into finer curls on different shaped cars than what this one is. But this one's done all their work for today. I also used it down in here. And with my fine 80 cut, with my worn out disc, the 180 doesn't have to work so hard. So this is straight off the finish on the 80. And if I just get the block on it, bit of sanding like that and I'm pulling the guide coat off and that's just how quick it'll go from 80 grit to 180 because I finished the 80 with a worn out disc on it. So that's coming up nice. When you get to the 180 stage it is just yum. It just feels so smooth and nice. It's just begging to have colour put over the top of it. So that's where we're heading on this car. So tomorrow Arvo I'll have all this through into final primer and then I'll probably leave this car because Dave's a pretty fussy bloke. We're going to want this one to be a really nice job. So I'll give this three or four weeks to sit in primer to just harden up and if it wants to have any shrinkage or anything like that, that'll all be done and out the way. And then when we block that down for our color, we know it's going to be a very stable paint job and it's gonna last for years to come. So that's a little bit about spray poly and um, I think I'll be catching you next week. Thanks guys, stay tuned for more.